for the food chain, with the rat tail, king sanitation, jump the trap now, but the rest is a rat. What is going on Timpacy? So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can make an epic, clean, like gaming tech background for your YouTube banners or thumbnails or even a desktop background. So it's going to be really easy and you're probably wondering why you're not like recording your face at the beginning. Well, basically I want to get this video out as soon as possible. I did do a stream this morning, so I'm uh, in a bit of a rush really. Um, I want to get this video out so I can edit it and stuff. So yeah, basically you need a my 10 kg FX pack and uh, you want to open a new document 1280 by 720 so yeah we're gonna make it a sick background um, so let's get into it we'll just hide that the first thing you want to do guys before we get into anything is basically get a new layer and we'll make it like a black color not completely black just a bit before press enter and then alt backspace to fill it in next thing you want to add like a um, white highlight at the top and at the bottom like so and then once you've done that what we're going to do is get one of the overlays now the overlays are like my favorite part of the pack and this is what we'll be using most so you want to first get this one right here and basically drag it in and you want to change it to a colour that you want to make the background. So, um, I'm going to choose something different. I might go with like a dark blue. So I don't really use that colour, I'll do it today. So the first thing we'll do now is actually add some shadows to it. So in certain places, we're going to make it darker. Like so. And change it to overlay. Soft light actually, and bring it down a bit. Then add a new layer, go to white and click in other places that you've not clicked and change that to overlay. Bang, so we've got that looking nice. Now basically this is just going to be overlapping loads of different layers to make it better. And this is basically the procedure I take to make it look better. So this is what I'm going to do. This one and change it to color dodge and then duplicate it. So you get that and it's looking already really good. And then you want to go to this one right here, this black one. Add it on and change that to color dodge. So it's already looking sick. Then go to this one, change that to color dodge as well. And now you can make this bigger or smaller, it's totally up to you guys. And you can duplicate it as well if you want to get an enhanced effect. I think I'll do that to be honest. Then what you want to do next is basically choose from either this one, this one, or this one, or even the bottom one, and add it over the top. Now I'm going to add this one right here, and I'm going to change it to, what you want to do now is actually go to control U, and bring down the saturation all the way, so it's like black and white, or grey really, and then change that to colour dodge, and if you hide it, you can see really, really cool electric effect really nice now these I did make myself so what I'm going to show you guys now is how you can make your own really really cool like uh, version of it so basically you want to get this one this is where you start off from I'm going to do it right now I'm going to add it over the top of it all so basically what you want to do is bring it make it smaller so about the size of the document and then basically go to filter and you can use any of these right here so I'm gonna do something like pixelate in fact no I'll go to wind stylize wind stagger and then as you can see it pushes it across and then if we press ctrl F and F ctrl F it'll duplicate it and that looks really cool next I'm gonna go to distort and I'm gonna go to ripple and then make that large and increase it and as you can see it does something like that and that looks pretty cool and then finally I'm going to go to pixelate mosaic and then bang and you get this really cool cloudy like pixelated effect you can do other stuff if you want but I think I'm just going to leave it like that and put it on color dodge and then as you can see it does add a really cool effect and you could you could even put it in the background when you're starting off and that will start off your background now this is what we've got as you can see it looks really really cool really abstract and this is the kind of style that I like to be honest um, so I'm going to add highlights to the top 
and then add a new layer, go to black, and then round the outside, you want to do something like this, give like a ring, so, and then bring down the opacity, and now we're going to add some colour corrections, so, let's do it, Just copy me, bring that down, bring that up, then go to colour curves, make it a little S shape, Exposure, bring up the exposure and then bring up the offset and also bring up the down correction and then finally go to this photo filter and make it blue to enhance like the colours and if you group all that together you can see it's a really really cool little colour correction it just makes everything pop out a lot more and then finally what we're going to do is make it white and click at the top and then what you also can do is click in random places and change its overlay and then if you hide it it just pop makes things pop out a lot more so yeah and then if you can at the end you can change the hue and saturation to any color you want they look really really cool and basically these you can actually like add to your packs if you want to make a geographics pack they're just really cool backgrounds that you make yourself that people can use um, but yeah that's a cool little background you can add to YouTube banners and you can even add like say if it was on a YouTube banner add your text in there so I'll just put timpers and what I like to do is we'll make it bold actually put it in the middle somewhere something like that and if you rasterize it what I like to do is rub away certain parts of it to make it look like it's blended into the background. It's like, it's just cool, it makes it look like it's blended in and you can even add a colour overlay to it. Make it blue. And then bring down the opacity. Or even just like, let's just scroll through it. Uh, I'll just leave it on normal, bring down the opacity, you don't want it too much, and then bang, it just gives it a really nice effect. So that would be if you're making a banner. But yeah, that's the background done, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you hit the like button, um, can we hit 350 likes on this video, that would be awesome, subscribe if you're new, and um, also comment down below what videos you want to see from me next, and yeah. Um, that's about it for the tutorial. I hope you're all having a sick day today and I'll see you in the next video.